Gemini, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nun. I'm here to do a general love reading for February. I will not say 1st through the 15th or 15th through the whatever the fuck because I just don't know when I'll be back in February to do these love readings. So we'll just say February, okay? Just so you know, I do start all my cards out upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I pre-shuffle um, just to get an idea of what's going on. So I lay the cards out. Keep in mind, this may or may not resonate with every single Gemini. I do cuss in my videos, so if that bothers you, get the fuck on. Info for private readings will be below the video, okay? So I asked Gemini, what does this person think about Gemini, right? Got the first, the Knight of Swords, but then I wanted to clarify that. That came out with the Three of Pentacles and the Lover, so that's you, Gemini, okay? Also with Child and Toil and Labor. I got the tower with the wheel of fortune reversed that came out with message got the fool that came out with unexpected income and great fortune and then you got the nine of swords with the emperor here and pathway okay off top gemini you could be dealing with another gemini libra an aquarius capricorn taurus virgo scorpio here aries is what I see so far. Okay, so I asked what this person was thinking about you, Gemini, right? You or them, Gemini, because you know how shit be flip-flopping in this bitch, right? First of all, Gemini, it's the same as before. You focused on that quaint, 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 okay? Focused on the money, focused on work, focused on school, whatever it is that you're doing, like you have like a, a, like a focus, you know what I mean? Like nothing is deterring you from anything. Like this is what you're focused on, period. <clears throat> and getting yourself better, bettering yourself, whatever, getting money together, getting the house together, all that shit, right? I feel like you or them, Gemini, somebody's mad at this shit. Like, I feel like whatever relationship or whatever kind of relationship this is, it's off and on. Like, so one person feels like this shit is like the best relationship ever, and the other person is like, mm, not so much, right? I feel like somebody's mad at you, Gemini, or you're mad at somebody, I feel like somebody's trying to work something out with you, but it's like you kind of off and on with their ass. Like, yeah, like Monday, Thursdays, and Sundays, I want that shit, right? But Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and Saturdays, I don't want to fuck with it, right? The other person is confused. Like, well, I don't understand. Like, I thought we were cool. Somebody feels like the other person is childish, you know what I mean? Like, in the way that they react and act. It's like, you know, do you want to work this out or you don't? Somebody's confused in this shit, Gemini. They feel like one day is good and the next day it's like a whole different motherfucker. Like they dealing with a child and shit. Somebody's hella immature in this relationship. Don't know who it is. I feel like it goes good sometimes with you and this person, Gemini. This is what this person is thinking, you or them. But then it just goes to shit. It's like a repeating cycle. Usually this wheel of fortune upright would be like something moving but it's but I feel like this wheel is still moving even though it's backwards I mean reverse but it's going backwards it's like y'all take 10 steps forward and then take 22 steps back type shit right is what this person is thinking in this relationship they starting to pick up on it and shit like this shit is not fucking normal to be like only together on groundhog day and then the rest of the fucking days of the year we ain't together right somebody's starting to pick up on that shit and get the hint somebody got the hint right somebody's like I feel like I want to move forward right I always take a leap with this person. I always want to, you know what I mean? Try to work it out. It seems like it's going good. Great fortune. Then all of a sudden the motherfucker pulled a okie doke on me. Unexpected income. It's like up and down. It's like somebody doesn't know where they stand with the other person. Could be you or them, Gemini. But somebody doesn't know if they coming or going in this motherfucker, basically. Especially with the nine of swords and the emperor. That could be you, Gemini. You know what I mean? Like worried, like what the fuck is going on? Like, am I the emperor or am I the fucking wait staff and shit? Like somebody doesn't know like where they stand in somebody's life, basically. They don't know where this relationship is going or anything. They are utterly fucking confused. They losing sleep over the shit. They up at night trying to figure it out. They want to take a leap into this relationship. They want you or you want them, Gemini, to decide who the fucking emperor is going to be. I feel like somebody's keeping their options open is what's going on here. But they're still messing around with the other person like it's a relationship. So the other person is like, oh, okay, we are in a relationship. And then the next day the other person is like, no, nah, motherfucker, I'm keeping my options open. Somebody is confusing the other person is what's going on here. So somebody, like I said, doesn't know if they coming or going in this bitch. They just don't know. Okay? Let's see how they view you, Gemini. How's this person view Gemini? I feel like this relationship is good, 
and it's bad. Like, you know what I mean? That's why one person is kind of off and on with it. Off and on with this shit. I'm still looking at these cards trying to read them. It's like, it's like, uh, somebody's frustrated. There's a person that's frustrated in this relationship. Two people, actually both people are frustrated. One person is frustrated because they don't know if they're coming and going. The other person is frustrated because they don't really know what they want. If they want to fuck with this motherfucker, work it out, or if they don't. It's like two people in a relationship that don't know what the fuck they want to do. Or don't know where they stand. How's this person view Gemini? So five of cups, nine of cups out here. Five of cups, nine of cups. That's what I'm saying. Like, look at the contrast of this shit. Like, you make me happy and you make me sad, right? Happy and sad. Like I said, somebody don't know if they coming or going in this bitch. Somebody, <laughs> Gemini, this could be you with your twin having ass. It's just so up and down. You know what I mean? It's like happy, sad, happy, sad. Another one for how this person feels about or how this person views Gemini. The world. Definitely could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini. Seven of Wands. That's what I'm saying. Look at this shit. Five of Cups, Nine of Cups, the world, and the Seven of Wands, right? So somebody looks like, okay, they're regretful. They want to be with this person. And then it looks like, I don't want to fuck with this person. This is like a fucking bipolar ass relationship right here. Unless this is two people that I'm reading just in this one little section right here for how they view you. This is somebody that's just all over the motherfucking place. It's like they happy. I just, I was talking to my sister the other day and I just told her this shit. I was like, a motherfucker fuck with you is like a high. You know what I'm saying? And then after they, like, it's like a high, right? They get their feel and shit. And then once, you know, y'all separate or go y'all ways for however long, then it's like this. It's like somebody's like up and down. I feel like somebody is the equivalent of a fucking crack pipe in this bitch. Somebody comes and hits the crack. They get high, cool. They good for a few days. They don't hear from the person. The other person goes on, do what they do. And then the person needs another hit of crack. Then they come back again. You know what I mean? It's like up and down. By the cups. It's almost like an addiction is what I'm feeling because I'm kind of feeling like if you were in a relationship with somebody, right, and that shit's up and down, off and on and shit, why the fuck would you keep fucking with they ass? You know what I mean? So it must be some type of addiction or obsession or something like that is what I'm picking up on. A uh, star card came out with the five of cups. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. One on the nine of cups, please. Three of swords came up with the nine of cups. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying, y'all. Look at this shit. Happy, sad, happy, sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker needs some Ritalin or some shit. Like, it's just, this is how they view you, though, um, Gemini. So they feel like you up and down, G, or you feel like this about them. It's like one minute you don't want to fuck with them, the next minute you want to fuck with them. You know what I mean? It's like up and down. They don't know where they're going. I feel like this person still sees the value and the potential in this relationship. This person wants to be with you, Gemini, or vice versa. But it's a lot of up and down in this shit, G. I just feel like somebody only wants to be bothered when they want to be bothered with the other person. And then when they don't want to be bothered, they ghost the other person. One on the world. Yeah, when they want to be bothered, they do, right? There's that ace of wands, and when they don't, they don't. It's like, you know what I'm saying? When I feel like fucking with you, I will type shit. It's the world and the ace of wands. One on the seven of wands. Ten of pentacles. This shit is crazy, up and down. I mean, you guys are seeing this shit. Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. It's like somebody wants this shit, but then somebody doesn't want this shit. The crazy shit about it is the person, it's the same person. The same person that wants this shit is the same person that doesn't want this shit. It's like up and down. That's all I keep hearing. It's like, I don't know, y'all. One on the Five of Cups and the Star. The coffin came out. So pretty much this person is viewing it like this shit is over anyway. It's literally, I feel like this is a cycle that keeps going on and on and on. And eventually there's only so much resurrecting and killing you can do. You know what I mean? Like this shit can only go on for so long before somebody's heart gets broke, right? Somebody's like cool with it now. I feel like the other person that's just dealing with the shit, like they just come when they're invited and leave when they're discarded. Eventually that shit's going to fuck with them. You know what I mean? With that three of swords. You can't really treat people like that. So eventually this person will either just leave, you know what I mean? And there won't be a Monday, Thursday, Sunday, Groundhog Day relationship. You know what I mean? It'll just be no relationship, period. Or somebody's going to have to give in and go the whole way. Like it's not going to keep going up and down. Journey. This shit can't keep going like this. It's just a, it just keeps going. You know what I mean? Like I don't see any type of 
progress in this shit or nothing. It's just like a fucking cycle. Like, dysfunction is what I keep seeing. One on the world and the ace of wands. How this person views Gemini. Change. Like I said, this shit is... One day it's Gucci, right? One day we're, we're off. It's like always change. Nothing is stable in this relationship, Gemini. Nothing is stable. Like it's just, I don't know. It's almost one of those situations where it's like, I don't want you, <clears throat> but I don't want nobody else to want you either. It's like somebody's keeping somebody around just because it's like a fucking puppy and shit. Like, you know what I mean? It just adds character to the fucking home. It's like, I don't really want the motherfucker, right? Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. I don't really want shit. It's just a puppy looks good in the yard when the kids are outside. It's like a... It's like a... A look is what I'm getting. Like, you know what I mean? It's like... I don't know, y'all. One on the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> it's like a look somebody's going for. Like somebody wants to be a part of something because that's just like kind of what society says and it looks good. You know what I mean? But the other person really doesn't want to be bothered with the other person you or them gemini somebody's just around for aesthetics like you know what i mean like when you go on like a tv set and they set the props up and shit and the house look all nice and pretty and shit but it's all fake you know what i'm saying it's like that show only comes on on wednesdays you know what i mean like ain't nobody utilizing that shit monday tuesday thursday friday saturday sunday so it's like that's that's what this shit is to me it's like kind of when i need you you know what i mean that's when you come around when i don't get the fuck on Wealthy man, like I said, when I need you, you know what I mean? You come around. I want you around. You or them, Gemini. This is how they see you. When I don't, get the fuck on. Somebody's being treated like a, <laughs> I don't know. I want to say like a prostitute, but I mean, I don't know. Cause at least the prostitute gets paid. I feel like this person just is like on like a beck and call, like, like just waiting by the phone. Like, so Gemini, let's just say like, it's Groundhog Day. Oh, shit, it's Groundhog Day. I'm supposed to be fucking with so-and-so because it's Groundhog Day. That motherfucker already waiting by the phone because they know it's Groundhog Day and it's their day. Remember on Boomerang when uh that uh Robin Givens was like, I can pencil you in when she was talking to Eddie Murphy. And he was like, that's two months from now, right? That's this type of shit. It's like you penciling this motherfucker in, Gemini, just to come and fuck with you. And then when you don't have time, you're like, all right, then, motherfucker, you had your meet and greet. Get the fuck on to the next Groundhog Day, right? That's kind of what I'm feeling. Like, I'll pencil you in. That's what this type of relationship is. It's like, when I want to see you, I want to see you. It's kind of fucked up. I'm sitting there like, uh, let's see how this person feels about you, Gemini. Could be dealing with a fire sign too. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Judgment came out for how they feel about you, Gemini. How's this person feel about Gemini? So I feel like they starting to look at you some kind of way, Gemini. You or them. Somebody's starting to look at somebody like, is this shit for me? Empress came up with the judgment card. This could be a baby's mom, baby's father, somebody you got kids with. Two of Cups, I told you this motherfucker ain't going nowhere. I told you this person, whoever the person is that's like just on like beck and call and shit, this person waits by the phone, okay, for you to call them Gemini. <clears throat> judgment empress two of cups like I, I, the crazy shit about it is like whoever's treating the other person like they're just disposable right the disposable person is still like love of my life you are my friend <laughs> right on some erica badu shit i got a problem with this person though <clears throat> i got a problem with the person still seeing the other person like they're the best shit since sliced fucking bread because the the person that's like the best person since fucking sliced bread is the person treating the other person like, eh, I don't really want to fuck with you, right? Which makes me wonder about this person. Like, damn, have you never been loved before? Like, really, really loved? Because when somebody don't want to be bothered with you a lot, that's not love, G. And this person is seeing this as love. They're like, well, I know he only, want to fuck with, he only wants to fuck with me on Mondays and Thursdays, but, I mean, at least he wants to fuck with me. I'm like, no, bitch, that's not how that should go. So I'm worried about this person's self-esteem. You or them, Gemini. Whoever thinks this is okay to be in a relationship like this, I'm worried about their self-esteem. Because this person sees you, Gemini, as the Empress and the Two of Cups. This could be a marriage, though. You know what I mean? I don't know how you only fuck with a motherfucker. Sometimes when you marry, look, Hierophant came out. Could be a Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra. This person wants to be with you, Gemini, period. No matter how bad you treat them and shit, you can make them a... 
shit sandwich and they're like this is the best shit sandwich i've ever had like this is this is how bad this person wants to be with you gemini that's why i'm saying i have a problem with this person because they don't even mind being mistreated you know what i mean they just want to be in your presence and it's kind of pathetic a little bit judgment card <clears throat> Hang man, like I said, they ain't going no fucking where. They just, this person knows, like, okay, I just want to, maybe this person gets no attention from other people. You or them, Gemini, right? Because this person feels like this is the end-all, be-all relationship. It's the best relationship they've ever had. And not to be rude, but if this is the best relationship you've ever had, motherfucker, you need a, a better body count, right? Because this person ain't feeling you like that. You or them, Gemini. I mean, they cool, they care about the person and shit, but it's not like this... This is a like big difference down here, this last row, opposed to what's going on up at the top and shit. It's like one person is like, I don't care what you do to me. What is it? Choke me, slap me, pull my hair, right? This person don't give a fuck. They're like, I'm still staying. The King of Swords and the Empress. <clears throat> I feel like if you are this person, Gemini, this will be you, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like you're being rude to this person. I don't know why I feel like it's you, but I feel like it's you, Gemini. That's like, whoever this person is, they're real nice. They come around, they provide, they do whatever it is they need to do. But I feel like you just, I feel like you just don't want them like that. You know what I mean? I feel like you talk to them kind of cold. You or them, Gemini, but I feel like it's you. I feel like you talk to this person cold and everything, even though this person still feels like this towards you. It's like, maybe that's what turns you off. You know what I mean? Maybe they too fucking available. You know, motherfuckers be too available. It's a turn off. Two of Cups. Two of cups, ten of cups, how the person feels. I told you. You or them, Gemini. And with this Hierophant card, somebody wants to, like, be the husband, wife, whatever the fuck, kids, everything. Somebody is still wanting that shit, even though the other person has proven to them plenty of times that they ain't fucking with them like that. You know what I mean? I said, motherfucker, only fuck with you on Mondays, Thursday. How the fuck we gonna be married only fuck with you three days a week? Right? That's what one person is saying. The other person's like, we can make that shit work. I got shit to do the other four days. That's what I'm saying. This person down here is a little thirsty. I'm sorry, but you are. Judgment and the hangman. Like I said, that person is waiting. You or them, Gemini, is waiting. Like, I, I don't give a fuck what they do to me. That is my girl. That is my dude. They could call me all types of shit. Like I said, I'll eat a shit sandwich. I'll sleep in the doghouse. I'll motherfucking lay on the floor. You know what I mean? Whatever I got to do. I'll fucking sing in the rain if I fucking got to. Like, this person is, what do they call him? A brown noser. <clears throat> Right? Isn't a brown noser somebody's willing to do anything even though they get mistreated or some shit like that? <coughs> Excuse me. Just to be like a part of something, a circle, a group. Uh, ain't that what a brown noser is? That's what I keep getting from this person. This king of swords with this empress got the thoughts, false person, and family room. Like I said earlier, I feel like you or them, Gemini, says exactly what the fuck is on their mind. I don't feel like you're leading this person on, Gemini. I feel like you tell them, like, I don't really want to fuck with you like that. Like, I done thought about it. You ain't really the one. But the fact that you still keep letting this person come over Mondays, Thursdays, and Sundays, Gemini, that's the problem with this person. That's why they're confused. They don't know if they're coming or going and shit. Because it's like, one minute you'd be like, no, nah, I'm cool on your ass. I ain't trying to fuck with you, right? And then the next minute you'd be like, come through, right? And so they're, like, confused. And instead of that person just being like, you know what? They got me all confused. I don't know what the fuck they want to do. Let me move on. This person is, is content with what they're getting from you. Like I said, it's kind of pathetic and fucking sad. Like, to be honest, it, it really is. I feel like this person needs self-love. You know what I mean? Because once you realize self-love, you wouldn't keep going back to somebody like this that keeps treating you like this, Gemini, you or them. Two of Cups, Hierophant, and the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Privileged lady and the mature woman. Like I said, this person feels like this is the best relationship they ever fucking been in, right? They feel like even the person that talks shit to them and don't fuck with them every day, 365, you know what I mean? 365 days a year, seven days a week, <clears throat> it's still that bitch. You know what I mean? You still that bitch. Even though you treat me like shit, you still that bitch. Somebody has low fucking self-esteem here. Seriously, Gemini, you or them, I don't know. I suggest, and usually I don't like to give advice, but whoever the person is that just fucks with this person when they want to fuck with them, if it's you, Gemini, stop fucking with this person's feelings like that. You can't because this person is in love with you. This person wants to be with you. And from what I'm seeing from you, if this is you, Gemini, up at the top, how they view you and all that shit, it's like you just want to be bothered with them when you want to be bothered with them. And this person's emotions and feelings are involved. And that's how motherfuckers end up on Snapped and Fatal Attraction and For My Man and all that old crazy shit and forensic files and all that shit. 
because a motherfucker playing with motherfuckers emotions and shit. So my advice to you is if you don't want to fuck with this motherfucker full time, Gemini, you or cross watcher, leave this motherfucker alone because their feelings are all wrapped up in this shit. All wrapped up in it, G. Okay. All right, Gemini, that has been your reading, G, for February. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Gemini. Give a fuck. But thank you still for visiting my channel anyway. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.